Good morning. Today looks a little bit cooler outside for your commute to work. You'll want to bundle up. Temperatures are nowhere near the 30s in most places. We're in the teens in a lot of spots. Valley City, 19 degrees. It's 19 in Jamestown and 20 in Fargo. We're looking at 27 in Detroit Lakes over in Bemidji, a chilly 15 and 26 degrees in Grand Forks. Now we have very light wind and that's along with some clear skies has helped our temperatures to drop as much as they have up in the northwestern part of Minnesota, especially we've got calm air. But where we do have just a little bit of wind with temperatures in the teens, it does feel colder than that. So make sure that you bundle up today. Uh, we've got a five mile per hour speed in Fargo out in the northwest and same thing in Jamestown. Here's a look at the satellite and radar composite over the last or uh, over the last hour in the tri-state area. We've got a lot of cloud cover over into Minnesota still associated with the remnants of that system that brought more than a foot of snow to places like Denver and over into South Dakota and southern Minnesota as well still getting hit by the southeastern parts of the state especially and then over into Wisconsin as well. Minneapolis looking like things are quieting down for the Twin Cities at this point. We have some cloud cover associated with that over in our southeastern viewing area back into eastern parts of Ottertail County, Wadena, back up to Hubbard County as well. That's blocking your view of the full moon, or it was full yesterday morning. We're still enjoying a pretty bright moon out there this morning across much of the valley. And then north of the border, we're seeing some snow showers south of Winnipeg, something to keep an eye on because we might be dealing with a little bit of light snow right along the Canadian border or maybe just a few flakes that you may notice up there. So here's a look at the uh, system that really dumped the snow over Denver. Things are quieting down for those folks there, uh, but it's moving to the east. So we're seeing some heavy snow stretching from the UP of Michigan and the northern part of Michigan as well, back over through Wisconsin and then down through Iowa back over toward Kansas on the cold side of the system. On the warm side, we've got thunderstorms a possibility. In fact, severe weather possible today with this. So again, uh, this is still chugging along, just making its way eastward, and we are going to continue to be on the quiet side here in the valley. Uh, and again, on the north side, we've got those winter weather headlines still affecting parts of southwest or southeastern Minnesota and into Wisconsin this morning. That winter storm warning still in effect. So here's your hour by hour planner for today. Expect quiet conditions for the most part, light wind temperatures that will be rising and we'll get some sunshine today too. By the noon hour, we're looking at uh, conditions that are going to be into the 30s to some low 40s and into the afternoon hours. A lot of places at least hitting 40. Some of us getting into the upper 40s out west, especially over toward Jamestown and down toward Oaks and the Ellendale area into the Fargo Moorhead Grand Forks area, more into the mid 40s and then low 40s out east. Now later tonight, we start to see our chances for rain and snow increase. As we're heading to bed tonight, it'll be starting to approach. And then through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning, some of us along the international border seeing some precipitation. And by the time we get to around 9 a.m., some of us in the south start to see a chance for some snow. So on the warm side of this system, rain. And on the cold side, again, we're going to be dealing with the snow showers. So around 5 o'clock, it's when all this sort of comes together uh, for us for the day. And then into the nighttime hours, we'll see it all switch over to snow uh, through uh, the valley as it moves through. Eventually, it'll be quieting down by Saturday morning. So here's a look at our planner for the next couple of days. 46 degrees in Fargo, mostly to partly cloudy skies today. Tomorrow, temperatures will be rising out ahead of the system into the 40s to some low 50s possible. That's if we can warm up ahead of it. And then we'll see that chance for some rain switching over to snow. And Saturday morning, temperatures are going to be in the 20s, so we might have some tough uh, travel for any holiday travelers out there. Uh, and eventually that'll clear out and just in time for Easter Sunday, it looks like things are going to look a lot better. We'll see some sunshine on the way mixed in with a few clouds and temperatures right now look like they'll be a little bit milder than we were going with before. 51 degrees for your high on Monday or Sunday rather. And then into next week, we continue that warm up by Tuesday. Lows in this in the th upper 30s and highs in the low 60s. Very nice. Yeah. That's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. A lot of kids are home from school for the Easter break and spring break, and it could be a good time to make some holiday decorations. Straight ahead, Christy Larson has some easy Easter craft ideas that you might want to try.